<laughs> this is an iPad Air. iPad models are labeled below the back within a number. Look closely here. It's a 2588, meaning it's an iPad Air 5. The owner already attempted a restore. Why? Because the touchscreen suddenly stopped working. He thought it was a software issue, so he restored it. But even after restoring, the touch still didn't work. So we ruling out a software problem. As repair technicians, we've seen countless iPad Air 5 touch failures. Stick around, you'll learn a lot today. Let's discuss. Is this a design flaw or another issue? Comment your iPad model below. After heating the screen, we use a removal tool to lift an edge and separate the adhesive. Opening it, we see tons of fingerprints and rectangular marks on the screen's back. Whose fingerprints are these? Left and right sides both have these patterns. Let's protect the front camera first. The screen has three flex cables. Remove the battery screws. Disconnect the first flex, then the other two. And the screen comes off. Why do iPads always have stubborn stains inside? Inspecting the flex cables, we don't see visible damage. Inside the chassis, two large batteries. Stereo speakers, a USB-C port, and the motherboard with front and rear cameras, sensors, and antennas. Which flex handles display and which for touch? Let's check the circuit schematic. This iPad has to touch chips due to its large screen. The longest flex connector links to both touch chips. Testing each pin's diode readings. All normal. Next, check boot current. Without the screen, power on current looks normal. Reconnecting the screen. We notice a spike in current during startup. Indicating a power leak. Removing the screen. We heat and peel back the soft metal shield. Underneath, Apple's M1 CPU, Power IC, Storage, and Audio Chips. The Touch ICs are hidden under the shield. Reconnecting the screen and using thermal imaging. Heat spikes when the screen lights up but drops when off, proving the leak only occurs when the display is active. To access the faulty area, we cut a small window in the shield avoiding full removal to prevent chip damage. Testing capacitors under the shield. Three show short circuits. Rosin flux reveals a power IC and its capacitors overheating.
removing all three capacitors since replacing just one risks future failures. We clean and re-measure. No more shorts now. Seal the shield with tape and thermal padding. Why do these capacitors fail? Heavy drops leave marks from internal cushioning foam on the screen. Impact stresses the capacitors, causing gradual failure. Heat worsens it, leading to touch IC power loss. Is this a common flaw or design issue? Even Apple isn't perfect. Avoid drops and overheating to prevent such issues. After reassembly, testing touch. It works. Activate with the owner's Apple ID. And test all features functional. We can see this is a 64 GB iPad Air 5. Final reminder. Avoid gaming while charging, especially in summer. Heat kills electronics. Thanks for watching. Double tap to like, follow, and share your thoughts below.